Fusion Review is an easy-to-use, open-source video reflection and feedback tool. Here are some tips to help soccer coaches get the most out of it. Using it is a great way to help your players to self-evaluate and reflect on their personal and team play to help them improve their performance. That said, there are some best practices that you as a coach can employ to significantly enhance the impact of the tool on your team. These best practices are grounded in self-regulated learning, research, and theory. First, or step one, what to focus on in the video. First, identify no more than one or two things from the game video that you as a coach want your players to look for and reflect on as they watch the video. Resist the temptation to ask them to reflect on more things as it will dilute their focus. Step two, let team members suggest the things you want them to reflect on. Because of time pressures, it's tempting to tell your team what you want them to look for and reflect on in the video. While this will work, it's more effective if team members themselves have made the suggestion. Ask questions like, what are some things we did well in the game today? And what are some things we can improve on? Hopefully the key points you identified in step one will be mentioned. If not, you may need to ask leading questions to get the reflection points you desire. In the end, when they receive your email invite to watch and reflect on their game video, you'll include the reflection points you decided on as a team. Here's an example. Let's try to identify the root causes of all the ball turnovers from our last game. Pause the video just before the turnover and let us know why you think the ball was turned over. Over time and with practice, the team should get better at identifying areas in need of improvement and require less help from the coaching staff. This is what the reflection tool looks like when you and your players add reflections or comments. You can see the video, the YouTube video box up here where you can scroll through the video. You can see there are some reflections that have already been made by team members and coaches here. If you want to, as a coach, fast forward to a reflection, all you need to do is click on the timestamp and it'll take you in the video to that reflection as a player or a coach, when you want to make a reflection or a comment, you stop the video. If it's playing, you stop the video where you want it uh, to make the reflection. You put your cursor in this box here. It gives them a little pop-up reminder of what they should be thinking of and taking into account while they're reflecting. You type in the reflection, just, just testing. You then tag it, or the player will then tag it with uh, the tags that are appropriate for their reflection. They could add their own tag if they, they felt like there wasn't a tag there that uh, met their need. And after they've made their reflection and tagged, they click on Reflect Comment. And then that is updated in the right-hand side there you as a coach can go back and then give the, your players feedback on their comments. Step 3, Coaches Feedback. Hopefully your players have successfully identified the things they are looking for, like in the example above. Assuming they have, review the reflections they made and see how accurate their analysis of the video is. With a good analysis, you can then proceed to compliment them for their insight and initiate the, a conversation on what goals you can set and select training strategies to reduce the team's turnover rate. With a poor analysis, you can first highlight any parts of their analysis that is correct and then ask leading questions to lead them in the direction of the real reasons for the turnovers. A question like, did we do a good job of keeping possession of the ball today? If not, what do we need to work on? Once there is a team consensus, then as a team, set team goals and select training strategies to meet the goals. Some questions that may help elicit appropriate goals from team members are, what effective team and personal training strategies have we used in the past for this kind of task? Can you think of any new training strategies we could use? Out of all the strategies we've brainstormed, which will be the most effective in helping us reach our goals? How will you use your personal training time to complete this task? One other task that can be helpful for players to do while they're identifying and reflecting on their performance is to tag the reflection 
with some predefined categories. This can help them more easily identify appropriate strategies to reach the goals they've set. Step 4. Use strategies to achieve goals and monitor progress. As you work with your team to reach the goals you've set, with the strategies you identified, be sure to monitor your progress. Also encourage your team to monitor their progress as individual players. The conscious monitoring of group and personal progress can go a long ways towards making sure that either the goal is met on time, or if the strategies being used are not working, you'll be aware of that problem sooner and be able to select another strategy. For example, if one of the strategies to reduce turnovers is to practice ball juggling, but after a week of this, the team might decide that while ball juggling is helpful for ball control, it isn't helping reduce turnovers. At this point, you and your team can select another training strategy. Emphasize that switching strategies when a strategy is not working is a good thing. Sticking with a strategy that is not working is a waste of time. Some prompting questions that you can ask your players to help them evaluate their progress are, how is your team performance compared to initial goals set? What kinds of strategies are you using? Are they working? What did you do well? What are you struggling with and why? How do you know? Do you need to consider other strategies? Lessons can be learned and acted upon at any point in the progress, but at the very least, time should be taken after achieving a goal or after you've decided not to pursue the goal anymore to see if there are any lessons that can be learned. You can pose prompting questions like, did we reach the goal? If not, how come? How effective were our strategies? Were there any that might have worked better? What went well? What did we struggle with and why? We hope this guide has been helpful. 